Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, hey, uh, this is going to be a bit lengthy of video because we are going to discuss a lot of topics in this particular video. So here is the list of topics that we are going to discuss in this video. Uh, firstly, we are going to take a look at how user interaction is done using PHP and then we are going to explore HTML forms and then what are the methods, how is get method different from post method and how to sanitize the input and then we are going to look at how our arrays initiated and uh, you know different types of arrays like 2D, 3D you may call it associative array and uh, you know if else statements, if statements uh, and in the end we are going to make a calculator example uh, I'm not going to write the entire code, I've already written it over here and I'm just going to explain it to you. It'll be short and I've already tested this code, it works fine, alright? So here we go, uh, this is the forum tag opening and it ends over here and this page index.php looks like this. There is a text box here, it says uh, enter your holiday destination and uh, here you can give your uh, favorite place, uh, uh, let it be New Delhi and I hit get details. As you can see it says New Delhi is a very nice place, you have a lot of places, places to visit in New Delhi, the climate is moderate and enjoyable. Uh, I know this is not true, <laughs> the climates are extreme over there, uh, anyways uh, let's get back. We're gonna firstly look at how this is done, how the data is handled, and uh, how the page is generated. Right? Let's go back to the code. Uh, yes, here is the form tag. It opens up with the attribute, action attribute, and it says interact.php, and the method says get. Right? Uh, if you leave the method blank or null, uh, it will be by default get. All right? Uh, if you write get or if you don't write it's all the same I prefer to write it over there uh, and then the action uh, action says uh, whatever data that you provide inside the text box and uh, the moment you hit submit button it's gonna send the data to interact.php that is over here right everything that you give uh, no everything that you send uh, it's gonna be in a get method right so uh, to receive that particular information all you have to write is dollar underscore get and uh, inside it you have to place the string like the, the string is to be the name of that particular uh, field where from which you're gonna extract the data right uh, the name of the field here is place that is the name of this te text box is place so when you hit the submit button it goes to interact.php and the interact.php uh, it, it grabs the input that you provide and uh, it is assigned to the variable place underscore name when you assign the input over here in this particular variable it says it's gonna echo particular text in h3 tags that is uh, the place name uh, if you enter any place like xyz so it'll be like xyz is a very nice place you you have a lot of places to visit in xyz and the climate is moderate and enjoyable right uh, that's what happened uh, in the case when we typed uh, new delhi right and still there is a bug uh, that i have discussed in my previous video uh, that is the xss bug um, here if i go ahead and type a basic script right if i type a script like uh, script and say type text or javascript and i put an alert over here alert function over here and i pop out you have been hacked right and I end the script tags and when I do a quick get details you can see you have been hacked is the pop out that's uh, you know shown up on the screen uh, you know it's popped up twice that's because uh, you know two times uh, uh, the variable uh, is a code uh, the ones over here XYZ anything uh, here and another time is here after the in over here so uh, both the times it uh, it, 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 it is taken as JavaScript and you know a dialog box is popped up so uh, to sanitize that we are going to use a basic uh, function in PHP that is HTML special cares whatever maybe the input you're gonna use this particular function you know give it as an argument HTML special cares you can see over here and uh, provide the string in between over here so uh, I delete this, I cut this over here and paste it here. So uh, 
the string that she provide inside the text box uh, it goes over here it takes the HTML special cards function takes it as uh, arguments and returns a sanitized uh, output or a sanitized string and uh, that string is taken inside this particular variable and it is a code now I save it again and uh, I'm gonna run this code again and let's check out what happens as you can see the entire code is popped out as it is and it is not taken as the HTML code so that is how it happens it's so simple that is how you sanitize your input so now uh, we're gonna talk about the methods that are used in HTML okay so there are two types of method one is get and another is post the post and get has a very minor difference when you write the method as post you must have to change it here and uh, rewrite this as dollar underscore post right and then it works again the basic difference is uh, you're gonna refresh this and now you do the same thing uh, I'm gonna insert the same thing it is all the same the only difference if you would have noticed the URL over here there is no question mark and the variable stuff whereas in get there was the variable stuff uh, I'll show you again I'll put back the get thing over here okay uh, by default it's get so I don't have to write it and I change it to get I save it I refresh this page and I do it I give that input again and get details as you can see the question mark the place variable is given this particular uh, string of text as an input so uh, if you want to hide this particular thing you have to use post uh, generally in the places where you provide usernames and passwords like uh, a login login form uh, you're gonna use a post method and uh, generally in uh, places such as uh, Google uh, where you search for something uh, you're gonna get uh, you, you're gonna use get method that's because uh, without the get method you you won't be able to bookmark any particular search result that's the basic thing and uh, that's the difference between get and the post method so let's move on to the next topic that is arrays All right we are done with the uh, user interaction we are also done with methods and uh, we have understood the basic difference between get and post we have explored this split HTML special characters function and uh, now we are going to move on to arrays okay I made a basic uh, you know representation of how it looks like as you can see from this picture uh, generally array is nothing but uh, a kind of structure in C programming uh, it can hold multiple data of different types together and it could give a different indexing for such data uh, like it's just uh, a box with different set of containers okay so first container is named zero second one one and the third one two and it goes so on all right if you initialize the array with uh, some amount of data okay you gotta name it first let it be dollar m underscore e it stands for marketing executive and uh, if I have four executives I'm gonna uh, you know make up an array with Rakesh being at zeroth index and Ankit being at first and Rishabh at second Mangesh at third all right and similarly we can have associative and nested arrays as well associative arrays are two-dimensional arrays or simply you can say the index is replaced with something else so if you want to make an array to store a particular set of uh, you know information that are related with each other like uh, if I have a company details so uh, if, if I want to uh, if I want to declare an index uh, not zero uh, rather a CEO and I want to store the corresponding name uh, in that particular space uh, you can use associative arrays under CEO we can have this particular name as Vijay or something and under HR you can have another name and different set of indexes so here the index is not zero one two or three the index uh, the indexes are CEO HR president vice president marketing head and you know marketing executor as you can notice over here this is a nested array where within this particular container of the whole array you are inserting another array that is this particular array the whole M underscore E array inside this container 
so we are going to take a look at how it is going to look like so i have a array.php where uh, you know i have initiated a variable uh, m underscore e uh, this is a array function if you don't know what a function is don't worry we are going to take a look at it. it's not in this one okay array is basically a function that takes uh, arguments different arguments and generates or creates a array all right uh, the rakesh will be taken as an input to the zeroth index and so on anket for first risha for second and mangesh for third all right when you go ahead and uh, i create a associative array and uh, this is the way to declare a associative array uh, here the index name goes like this and the data inside this particular index is is uh, written over here and uh, each of the entry is separated by a comma and before the imply symbol you're gonna have the index name and after that you're gonna have a name of the data that you want to insert at this particular index all right so it goes ahead like this and uh, at the place at the index me that is marketing executive i'm inserting the whole array over here and uh, i'm going to echo that out if you want to print out the array you're going to use print underscore r and uh, the array that is uh, you're going to pass as argument and uh, I'm, I'm going to open it up uh, localhost blog array dot php you can see here the whole thing is an array where uh, ceo is uh, index at ceo we have vijay and at HR we have social at marketing head MH we have Ajay at SP we have sales president we have Nigam at vice president we have Srinath and at marketing executive we have another array with uh, a set of different uh, you know people where at zeroth index we have Rakesh at one index we have Ankit second reserve and the third we have Mangesh if you want to access a particular person in this structure uh, like if you want to access Ankit say okay so if you want to access that particular person all you have to do is uh, you're gonna open square brackets you're gonna insert the index over here so if you want to access Ankit uh, you're first likely to provide the index marketing executive over here and uh, after that uh, well save it first and let's take a look how it looks right now I refresh it you can see you can only see the array of marketing executives and now if you want to access Ankit that is at index 1 all you have to do is uh, add another square bracket and inside it you're gonna add one that's it uh, or it's not a string it's just an index so just type one and save it and uh, refresh it as you can see it it says Ankit if I change the value over here I say zero and I save it again I refresh it as you can see it's Rakesh so it goes on like that for different values for different set of values so we are done with arrays introduction and we are also done with associative arrays and we have looked at how it looks like how it is represented and now it's time to take a look at what a if condition or a if else condition or statement is so here comes if and if else statements so uh, as you can see the following picture depicts the you know working of uh, if condition or uh, you can call it a if statement right so uh, it goes ahead like this and when it comes across a condition uh, it evaluates the condition if uh, the condition is true it's going to execute the conditional code or the code that is present inside the, the flower brackets and uh, if the condition is false it's not going to execute anything and it goes right next uh, you know the execution of the statement goes right next to the end of the curly braces uh, that is after the conditional code and the if else statement is also quite similar to it uh, what happens here is it when it comes across the condition it evaluates the condition if the condition stands true uh, it's gonna execute the if block of code and if the condition stands false it's gonna execute the else block of code all right I'm really sorry for the you know the noise over here I really can't help you with that I stay in a very crowded area so uh, I'm sorry I apologize for that so uh, moving ahead that is the basic representation of if and if else pictorially so uh, we go ahead you'll understand it much better in uh, the next example that we're gonna take up that is a calculator example we're done with if and if else statements uh, now uh, we're we gonna make a basic uh, calculator all right uh, here I have written a piece of HTML text uh, this is uh, the forum where uh, you'll have 
two different text boxes for giving your first and second operand and uh, another drop box where you're gonna select operator finally you will have a submit button uh, let's take a look over here you go to blog and go to cal.php and hit enter as you can see the first fail is for operand 1 and uh, here it for operand 2 here is the operator and then you're gonna calculate it I haven't written the code yet uh, it goes uh, nowhere that's uh, the action attribute is null so uh, whenever the action attribute is null the data is uh, submitted back to the same page so I'm going to receive the uh, entire data in the same page so I have to write the PHP code to receive the data over here so it goes like this I open up PHP and uh, I end it over here and uh, I'm going to uh, take three different variables the first one is a uh, dollar op1 and it's going to be a post one so dollar underscore post well let me tell you this uh, this is a array the input that you submit is uh, you know made into an associative array where the you know the index goes like the name of uh, this particular field uh, here in this case it's op1 and uh, data is taken from this and, and it is assigned to this particular variable and uh, now we are gonna take operand 2 and uh, the data is taken from the other field and that is op2 alright we end this statement with colon semicolon uh, and yes of course if you have uh, watched my previous video we have used dollar underscore request uh, dollar underscore request is used if you don't know what kind of method you have used like if it's uh, get or maybe it's post you don't know about it you can use request both type of methods you can use single type thing you don't have to rewrite the code again and again so you can use dollar underscore request for that it works all fine uh, no worries at all right so when you're done with this uh, I'm going to take another variable uh, that is operator opt and uh, I'm going to assign the string that we are going to receive uh, that is the operator from here so uh, the name of this is opt again so I'm going to write opt and I terminate this one so we're going to use if else statements right now so we are gonna what we are gonna do is if the condition would be like uh, inside the variable opt if we have the string add add then uh, we are gonna execute this particular block of code else and we can use if again else if we have we have inside opt equals equals uh, a string sub that is subtraction then you're gonna execute this particular block of code else if you have another condition uh, where the operator is equals equals uh, to multiplication that is mul then you're gonna execute this particular block of code else if you have dollar opt equals equals div then you're gonna execute this particular block of code right and if nothing is satisfied you're just gonna use an else statement again and you're gonna execute this particular block of code if nothing is satisfied from this above all right so uh, if nothing is satisfied we are gonna echo no operator and we end it with semicolon all right you may be wondering why am i writing double equals right uh, if i use a single equals the value of uh, you know the value of this particular va uh, variable is reassigned with the data that is present over here therefore to compare we use double equals you must remember this because this is the basic mistake that is done by you know our beginner programmer getting back when it is add you're gonna add both the variables you're gonna come up with another variable um, let be ans answer all right and the answer would be op1 plus dollar op2 right and i end it with semicolon and i go to the next one assign the answer variable with uh, 
dollar op1 minus dollar op2 right and i end it with semicolon again and if it is multiplication then the answer variable would be op dollar op1 asterisk dollar op2 all right terminate it again and finally if it is uh, division then uh, it would be dollar op1 divided by dollar op2 i terminate it again finally you're done with the code and you want to run this whole code only if you got any request or only if you have got any any submission of data uh, because if you don't have any submission and you're going to run this uh, the variables are not initialized at all and hence you're going to get uh, error a bad error so uh, to remove that particular error all you have to do is put up a if condition and uh, you say it like this if there is a response or if there is any post posted data then only you're gonna run this block of code so what block of code uh, you can copy the entire thing or you can cut the entire thing from here and paste it inside this particular block so it goes like this the thing you can see here inside if you have nested if else you know inside if you have a bunch of if else if else if else stuff okay so that's it uh, we have uh, we have done with coding we are going to test it so i refresh this again and i give it a basic operand uh, operand one to be 12 and uh, another 32 I, I type out calculate uh, well you got nothing that's because we haven't echoed anything uh, if the answer is this uh, you have to echo something at the end i'm going to echo answer and end it over here okay so uh, if you're gonna say no operator and after that if you echo answer uh, when there is uh, no operand there'll be an error because uh, the answer is uh, not at all initialized so therefore we use uh, die instead of echo die is uh, a basic function that is used in php it says come on stop stop execution of the php code okay and uh, directly it gives the output and uh, that's what it does so we're gonna refresh it again and we're gonna give the operands again 12 and 32 and put a calculate okay 12 plus 32 it says 44 similarly you can do it with uh, 2 asterisk 8 calculate you got it right we can do it with different set of numbers you can test it by yourself and uh, finally we are left with subtraction i guess so here we go we got it right so this is how basically php variables work we have uh, you know tried uh, operations on php variables uh, we have learned about if statements if else statements nested if else statements and uh, we have also understood how a user can interact interact with uh, a php page you know uh, the entire user interaction stuff and finally we are done with the php code for a calculator so uh, that's all we have learned for this particular video thanks for watching if you have any queries you can comment out below this video uh, i really appreciate your comments and uh, i'll be looking forward to hear from you guys so uh, Bye-bye till my next video. Have a great day.